Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great and studies are going in full swing. Now, this is a time where you would have certain subjects or areas where you think you could have studied more or you wanted to cover more material and the fact that we are having limited time kind of is, uh, is kind of making us nervous. So, a couple of things that I would like to share over here for your next few days. First of all, don't really run behind the number of revisions. Whatever you have done, whatever was planned that is separate, whatever you have done, use that as a launch pad for uh, your coming few days. Try to strengthen your understanding. Again, while you are preparing, just ensure that you give a balanced balance time to whatever papers let's say if you're giving one group or you're giving two groups uh, then you give a balance time don't just queue it in favor of one subject you do it three times other subject you kind of just do it once uh, sir i don't like theory i like practical no 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 you have to pass in all of them right so ensure that you kind of try to give a slightly balanced time in subjects where you might think that you 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 could have done better you can still do better remember it is not late you can still do better you still have some days so allocate slightly more days while uh, for the subjects where you think you need some extra effort on if you are planning on referring additional extra materials for covering the different complex possibilities of sums that are there at this stage it is not the right time focus on your professor's material and whatever is the institute material beyond that trust me you don't need to refer 50 different sources it is absolutely fine majority of the paper even in difficult papers are largely from the institute materials only and hence at this stage rely on that and keep your focus on that if you have not done more materials good for you nothing that you have lost on if you have a decent enough understanding you will be able to apply it in your exams as well again while you are now again another question would be that should i write more mock tests see ideally for a practical paper like FR, it always helps if you write at least one paper. Which paper, it does not really matter. As long as you write one paper, it will give you a good understanding of the time that you have to solve, etc. So, if possible, even now considering the fact that there is a 30-70 split, if you even write the mock test paper, uh, that should really help once. Keep out three hours after you have revised FR. And again, if you think that you have limited time and you cannot write the mock test, that's fine as long as you are able to plan your time properly in your main exam but writing one paper gives you a very good understanding of the time presentation etc so this is invaluable those three hours that you have are investment and not three hours lost of a revision it is investment so if possible do write one paper forget about the evaluation and the marks that you scored get on the time management skills how to select use your reading time etc all of that would be helpful uh, so if possible do write that mock paper and the most important thing at this stage is to have that positive mindset where you back off back yourself have that grit no matter what comes you will kind of face through it these are these are kind of challenging times they will make you tougher they will everyone trust me even if your exams had been postponed you had one more month then even if you were writing the exams then you would still find that the time is less so see exams are such that no matter how much time you have you are going to need more so right now you have the goalpost right in front of you with whatever you have prepared try to take that as a launch pad use that for the coming a few days ensure that you distribute your time evenly if possible write a mock paper so that it gives you a better understanding and most importantly keep a positive frame of mind keep that objective that you are going to give your best shot you are give, going to give your better best effort and then leave the rest on to your fate and destiny but you give your you your best for this next uh, one month okay so Keep on studying well and give your positive vibes in the comment box. Say that I can do it and you will give your best in the next one month. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care and keep studying.